Yo, this is for my TV, and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all my ride or die, hey, thank y'all for always tuning in and coming back to back to back, baby. Yo, this was requested by my supporters out there. I appreciate it. Yo, y'all asked me to do insanely strange things that were actually caught on tape. Now, I hope this is not scary. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I will do videos like this. As long as y'all requesting them, and y'all keep requesting the family guy, I'll do that. Hey, if y'all don't want music no more, hey, I'll do that. Well, it's up to whatever y'all want. It's what y'all want, baby. So, yeah. Uh, let's get into this thing like a chicken wing. Eat that, baby, chicken, man. Time out. I know. Hey, four seconds in. See, I can't be, because I can't swim. My wife can swim, but me personally, I can't swim. So, yeah, I, so you know what happened to me if that was to happen. <laughs> Hola. What the hell is that? Tornado? They flying through these things. Oh, hell no. That's, what's up with the... Hold up. That's the second picture of some kind of type of spaceship. Or, or, or UFO or something. <laughs> Star Trek. What? Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, that's, that ain't the, wait a minute, wait, wait a, hold on, hold on, is that the introduction? <laughs> Being stuck in traffic is part of everyone's life nowadays. As you know, in London, drivers waste around 300 hours a year locked in traffic. That's a lot. Mm, that's a lot. Now, many things can happen while stuck in traffic, and one of them, one that you would not expect to see, a strange phenomenon, one that you cannot even begin to explain, develop it right in front of your eyes. This is sort of what happened with Glazen and his family when they were stuck in traffic in São Paulo, oh. when something strange captured their attention. And this is what they caught on camera. Olha, não, Matheus, tenho medo. Aqui, oi, maldito caminhão, maldito caminhão do demônio. Yeah, what is that? Is that a building or is that? This is bullcrap. A fiery streak of light could be seen by many of those people now stuck in traffic. The thing is, Glazen couldn't get a good shot of it because of the truck just next to him. So he continued on the road for many more minutes so he could get a better angle of it. Wow. And this is what they saw. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, it seems like it's hovering there in the same place oh, for quite a long time. Okay, it looked like it was I did some research on this video and I couldn't find much more information on it. However, I did find a similar video that was also captured in São Paulo, Brazil. This is what was caught on camera. Now in this case, it could be just a crane on a very foggy day. However, in Glazen's what video, be? I don't think that's it. I think it's something else. Me too. What's your take? <laughs> Said that the first one place time I, I heard it, to visit but I was someday, just... it's Shepherdstown in West Virginia. Okay. West Shepherdstown Virginia. was founded in 1762, and it's older than West Virginia itself. Okay. 
Now the curious thing about Chaffords Town is that it's considered one of the most haunted cities in the oh, United hell. States of America. Oh, hell in the 1800s during the Civil War there was a battle known as the Battle of Shepherd's Town and to this day there are many cemeteries where you'll find tombstones of hundreds of Confederate soldiers. From hotels to university and several different cemeteries, Shepherdstown's locals are full of stories of strange things that shouldn't happen. They happen all over since the 1800s. They said we can come to Greenwood and show them three people one time to be uh, trying to capture anyone. All right. Now a YouTuber by the name of Codename Envious was with a friend of his when they decided to do one of Shepherdstown's famous ghost tours mm -hmm. and I guess they thought yeah. heck why not record it all. And they said we can come to Greenwood ourselves and three people mm -hmm. um, be, uh, Absolutely not. Greenwood. Not me. Alright, where are you? I'm scared. Give me a sign that you're here. Something. What the hell? Anything. <laughs> Shh. Anything at all. While exploring the cemetery, Envious and his friend thought nothing had happened. They started saying out loud for something to make itself present, and something did. They weren't all alone. However, it was only after Envious <sighs> uploaded the tape to YouTube that they realized a shadowy figure can be seen right after Envious asks for something to make itself present. Now whatever this thing is, it certainly didn't want to make itself apparent. As you can see, when Envious shines his light directly at it, it disappears, only to reappear again when it's back to darkness. Curiously enough, mm. Envious and his friend did not spot this thing at the time. Only Man, after they uploaded the video. It was out there now, at with first, I thought that this could be Envious Shadow or something like that. This is when I realized that his flashlight was pointing the opposite way. So it couldn't be his shadow, nor his friends. So, what exactly is going on here? Oh, wow. Now, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite songs to listen to sometimes is The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. It makes me wonder about all those things that might just be out there. Are we alone? Are we not? What is actually out there? Is there anything? These are some of the questions that I ask myself, and I guess everyone does sometimes. Well, recently a Facebook post went viral of some pictures and videos that Dane Walker made using a telescope. He captured something bizarre, something that apparently shouldn't be there. Check this out. Now if you observe closely, it looks like there's some sort of huge structure, a tower maybe, on the moon. I'm not wow. sure if this is indeed what's going on here or if it's just light and shadows. I'm oh not too sure. God. Some people left comments asking Dane, which part of the moon is this? And he says he doesn't know exactly because he's just a beginner. I myself tried contacting Dane and I'm waiting still for an answer. I'll update you guys if I get one. Now after watching this video a couple of times, my conclusion is that this object, whatever this thing is, is too big. Mm. In your opinion, could it be that there are things on the moon that we're not aware of? And could this be it indeed be. a tower Shit, or maybe know. just an illusion? Hell no, it ain't no illusion. Okay. Hola. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah. Shit, shit, shit. Now, when it comes Shh. to mythological creatures, you're probably thinking of dragons, <laughs> I'm scared, lost in a house, or Bigfoot, or something else. Ooh. I don't know. Leave a comment. Which one did you think about? Now, I'm pretty sure you didn't think about the Pombero, which is a mythical humanoid creature of small stature in Guarani mythology. And the legend is an important part of the culture of a region stretching from northeast Argentina to southern Brazil. Now like the name says, most of these creatures are just myths, a figment of someone's imagination. Mm -hmm. But there are stories that people tell of encounters with such th I, I, I try not to pause, but I got to. I'm, I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Things in the middle of the night, in the woods. Oh God. 
And How y'all talk to me into this? Sometimes it's not just stories. Sometimes I'll do anything people for actually y'all. capture these things on camera. Now, in previous videos of mine, I've talked a bit about the Pombero. There's something back here. What the hell is that? The in this dog video, is for instance, over. a mother is talking to her child when all of a sudden a strange creature can be seen in the background. One of the dogs recognizes that there is mm-hmm. something wrong. Mm-hmm. Be careful, dog, because they'll eat you. I tengo sueño. ¿Quién te enseña a hacer esas cosas? Now the video is recorded in Paraguay and it's not exactly possible to make out if this is the Pombero or if it's something else. A couple of years ago, a YouTube channel by the name of User posted a video of what's supposed to be a real Pombero caught on mm. camera. In the very beginning of the video, a couple of friends are listening to music and dancing and I believe this could be in Paraguay because of the language they are speaking. When all of a sudden they capture this on camera. The group of boys spots what appears to be some sort of humanoid creature moving just next to a tree a couple of meters away from them. They do what anyone would do when they run, scared as heck. Now whatever this thing is, it doesn't look like an ordinary creature to me. It left the group of boys and internet users baffled and scratching their heads. In your opinion, what is this? Is it really a Pombero or is it maybe something else? The thing is, there are many videos of supposed Pombero sightings, but there hasn't been much update on the subject. This is until last week when a video went viral of a family who was traveling in northern parts of Argentina and all of a sudden not only them but everyone who was around was surprised by a bizarre and unknown creature. This is what happened. Now there's not much information about the video but I'm guessing that the chainsaw that can be heard in the background is someone trying to scare off whatever this creature is. If you actually take a look at it and the video quality isn't that good, it looks like a small bear. But that's not the case because it's like no standing bear. up and it's walking from one side to the other. So whatever this is, it could be a pombero. But I'm not too sure. What's your take? I don't know what that thing is. Anticrawl is a no YouTube channel from Finland and he stopped <laughs> posting videos four years ago. However, he has a few videos on his channel and most of them are just regular videos. But there's one video with almost 1 million views where him and a couple of friends are hiking in the woods in a very cold day. And all of a sudden something strange happens and they capture it all on camera. This is what they recorded. What? Mistä vitusta toi tulee? The video was captured in the region of Tamala in Finland in 2012 and Anticrawl goes on to explain the description. The voice lasted almost 10 minutes. My camera's oh my microphone God. is quite bad, so the noise is not as scary as it was in real life. Now many internet users left comments saying that they have had a similar experience that at some point in their lives they have heard a similar sound. And to this day no one has found a reasonable explanation. However, others noticed that there is a power line cable just above them and that could be actually resonating the sound of the wind. Even though some noticed that there is no wind. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? And have you ever heard anything similar? I never heard anything similar. Now there are similar. several unexplained videos on TikTok nowadays is. and most of them are clearly fake. However, there is one specific video that has been making its rounds and it was uploaded to the Liz J TikTok account. 
In the video we can see several people gathering around a coffin, and if you observe closely, there is a child that seems to be playing with what appears to be a few strings just next to the lid. Now these strings appear to be coming from inside the coffin and watch what happens next. What the hell? For some unknown reason, the string seems to be pulled back into the coffin, and to this day, internet users are just as baffled as I am. There is little to no information about the video, so it may just remain a mystery. A glitch in the matrix, maybe, or something else. Now, if you ever have time to travel and visit a beautiful place, that would be Malta. Malta is an archipelago in the central Mediterranean between Sicily and the North African coast. And Malta isn't just a beautiful place to visit, it's also a place full of mysteries. Now, very similar to the ancient Egyptian pyramids, Malta has a few of its secrets that to this day have not been completely explained. And that would be the Malta cart ruts. The Malta cart ruts can be found at more than 150 different locations all over Malta. And to this day, there is no official explanation to what they are and what they were used for and how they were built. Researchers believe that these tracks were made Yo, artificially me. somewhere around 3,000 years ago. And because there is no official explanation, some people believe that these tracks could have been built by some sort of ancient civilization with enough technology to imprint straight lines into limestone rock for several meters or sometimes even kilometers. Now there are several ideas to what the multicart roads could be. And the most conventional of them is that the roads were worn by heavy carts or sledges moving tons of stone miles across the landscape. But this idea has some problems, one of them being that the tracks continue up steep slopes, across deep fissures, sometimes into the ocean, and to sheer cliff faces. In other words, they don't make sense. And it gets even worse. It seems that some countries are actually building things, structures, roads, and highways on top of these tracks. Mm. It's like for some mysterious reason, they don't care. Now in my wow. opinion, the best explanation to what these car roads could be comes from David Anderson, who believes that these tracks were built to actually manage water. But still, mm. it wouldn't explain exactly how they were perfectly carved into this limestone right. 3,000 years ago. In your opinion, who built the Malta cart roads and what for? Could it actually be some sort of advanced ancient civilization or maybe someone else? <laughs> what in the hell? Mm -mm. No, no. What the? This is bizarre. That's crazy. Now, just imagine it's a beautiful day. You're looking out your window. There's a storm coming in the horizon. You start observing it, and all of a sudden, you notice that there's something strange in the clouds, something that doesn't make sense. This is what will happen with Michael Woodward, who captured a strange phenomenon in the clouds. And this is what he saw. Oh now, God. what Michael captured on camera could be a crown flash, which is a rarely observed phenomena where ice crystals in a cloud line up and reflect and enhance sunlight. The strange thing about this is that recently many videos of crown flashes have been showing up on the internet. Mm. Have you ever seen anything like this yourself? And in your opinion, could these crown flash phenomena be something else? I, am, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I can tell you that. For now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications mm, on, mm, 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 mm. and I'll see you guys again. Yo, man, this is weird and strange. So that's why they call it insanely strange things. Just happen to get caught on camera or on tape basically oh my god now i'm gonna be able to sleep <laughs> i tried to tell you i didn't want the scary but it's fine it's fine anything for y'all request it i'll do it you want more videos like this
Let me know down in the comments. This is for Maka TV. The original will be in the description box below. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. And tell them for Maka TV sent you. Peace. I'm out.